because the evil doers neither made out envious against the workers of any inequality. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and weather as the green earth. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. I read you Psalms 37, verses 1 through 5. I hope that y'all are blessed by his word. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
thank you, Lord. We thank and praise God tonight. Amen. For each and every one of you. For I know it's probably going to help our own. So I want to do our welcome at this time. Say amen for us. Good evening, everyone. Amen. Let's give an honor to God, Pastor Jones, pulpit guests, amen. first ladies, and to each and every one of you. We are excited about you being here for our third night of revival. We hope that you come expecting, expecting a word from God. You are welcome to participate any way that God allows you to. You can sing, you can dance, you can shout. We welcome you once, we welcome you twice, we welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Don't keep the shoes off. Get ready. Give God some praise. Amen. 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 When praises go up, blessings come down. Amen. Who don't stand in need of a blessing? Huh? Amen. Amen. Matter of fact, you get joy when you get to jumping up and down. Amen. Like I said, if you ain't got no joy, leave for it. A lot of folks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But one thing about the devil, he ain't going to come on a joy's heart. He can't wait to get your head hung down. Here you come. Come on. The Lord is good all the time. All the time he's good. We're so grateful to have all of you here. Amen. And we know God will do you real good. You know why? Because we know just what you need. Amen. At this time now, we're going to have the choir to give us a selection. Amen. Say amen for the choir. Amen. 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 Amen.
all our visitors. I see different churches out here on tonight. Amen. Amen. So glad to have you here. Amen. Uh, ask uh, different churches you can let us know what church you are. My name.
right time. Father, in Jesus' name, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in my sight. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Respect to God, the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Respect to the verified pastor of this church, my friend and my brother, and to uh, other brothers on the roster, and sister brother I fair in the audience. The first lady of this church, yes, to all the officers and visiting officers in their beginning, to the choir and the musicians, to all of y'all, to my wife and my children, and to Brother Deacon and Sister Deacon as pew, my brother pew stay. God is good. Turn with us to the book of Ephesians, chapter 6. The book of Ephesians, chapter 6. Get there, find verse 16. And the text said, Above all, above all. Taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery dogs of the wicked. If you had a thought for your mind today, it would be my mind games. Say that with me, mind games. Those of you old enough have heard the commercial. And that is a most profound statement. And one that's been largely ignored. For a lot of folk have wasted their mind. Is messed up. It's not shocking that your life is messed up. Can somebody testify that you know some folk, a man whose mind is all twisted up and don't know which way is up and, and their life looks the same way? And so you got to learn how to be hip to the mind game. Is that right? And one reason that's so important because many of our children have fallen victim to mind games. Got to get a witness up in here. They, they don't know which way is up. They don't know which way they're going. They don't know if they're male or female or whatever. They have been victimized by mind games. Yes, sir. Mind games. The first victim of the mind game was Lucifer himself. Is that right? Lucifer was the first victim of mind game. Yeah, he was dwelling down and he was over the cry. And the Bible said he was an anointed cherub. And, and if you're going to become a devil, you know your mind that got messed up somewhere. That you can come into the house of God and you can worship, amen, the holy angels and then go and live like a devil. Your mind is messed up. 
see that God sits in. Why? Because his mind was messed up. Yeah. Mind. Okay. The devil likes to play with your mind. Am I right? Yeah. Peter thought about it. He said, be sober. Too many folk is drunk. And not all of them are drunk on liquor. Some of them are drunk on pride. Some of them are drunk on foolishness. And if you don't have a sober mind, the devil going to misuse and abuse you and take your happy home and turn it into a hell hole if you don't be careful. Peter said be sober. That means that they can be disciplined in your mind because the devil like to catch you sleeping. Because you have an adversary. The devil don't like you, amen. The devil don't want to see you blessed. The devil wants you to go to hell with him. And you got to realize that if you're not careful, he will trick your mind to think that hell is where you ought to end up. Because I hear folks that they say, Rev, I'm going to hell and I'm satisfied. What in hell do you want? What's good about hell? The Bible says he go about as a Did y'all hear what the text said though? It said as what? That means the devil trying to make you think that he got more power than what he has. The devil trying to make you think that he's bigger than what he is. But how many know greater is he that Say, I'm going to 
Oh, come on, I'm gonna go to the house. <laughs> My days. Now, and Satan just don't do this on earth because God was talking to the Satan on one day. He said, What's coming now? And Satan, and Satan answered, and The Lord from going to and fro in the earth and walking up and down in it. Satan be playing games on people's minds in heaven. You don't believe that, do you? When the devil turned against God, the Bible said one third of the angels went with him. The devil, the devil got some power. He got some power. His power is of deception. The Bible says he is a liar and a true man in. But we got too many people that's acceptable to liars. We got some folks that took some folks home and, and they done told you, but girl, you're the best man since life, baby. I can't wait to love you. And as soon as they got the key to the house, amen, they had some other woman in that bed. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. We got too many. You shall be abased. And now, God don't want you walking around thinking you are nothing out of nobody. He just wants you to be what? Sober minded. To realize where your blessing comes from. To help somebody. Some folks ask God for a blessing. And then when they get the blessing, they walk around talking about, look what I did. Look what I got. Now, that ain't the way you see it. If you pray to God for the blessing and God heard your cry, you ought to say, look what the Lord has done. That's why you want your man with Pretty Rick and you parade Pretty Rick around on Facebook and, and somebody else will be Pretty Rick in inbox because you broke y'all ain't gonna talk to me because you broke you look at my husband ain't it fine and then you gonna wake some lust up in somebody else and sometimes it's your
battle lines. The, the book says it is not of the Father, but it's of the world. Now, I, I know a lot of folks like to talk about prosperity, but that ain't what really God wants you to talk about. God wants you to talk about commitment. Did y'all hear what I said? God wants you to talk about commitment. We got a lot of greedy minded folk. And the thing about greedy minded folk, they ain't never. They get one thing and then they trash it and they want something else. Am I right about it? Some of y'all parents remember Christmas time when your child didn't open up the little Sears catalog. They don't have that among you. But they used to have it. They would see what kind of toy they wanted. And they would tell you about the toy. And then when you got the toy, the thing was broke before Christmas was over. Y'all don't want to say that. And now we want something else. How many of you realize that if you got Jesus, you really got everything you need? He's good in the morning. He's good in the new day. He's good in the midnight. How many of you glad that you got Jesus on your side? He's Mind. He's a selfish devil. He's selfish. He thinks life is all about him. Huh? Y'all know some folks like that? They think life is all about him. telling you what you need to do. Telling you what you They don't even do half the stuff they be talking about. You ever notice that? They, they have the nerve to try to control their life and they can't even control their own life. Glad that God ain't selfish. Yeah. One reason I know He ain't selfish. I, I don't see no walking canes. I don't see no wheelchair up in here. Yellow somebody, I see folk looking good. I see four folk got smiles on their face. Anybody glad that God wanna put a smile on your face? He'll lift up a bow down head. When you burn down, you'll find that He's a better down. When you got a head and you'll find that you're a head and low shadow. Thank <laughs> you. 
never got an angry mind. And he ain't the only one today. There's so many angry, so-called Christians. Mad as hell about it. Everything. Right. The only reason I know is because a lot of them put it on Facebook. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's hell about it. Everything. Yeah. He didn't get up in the church and my God be good. Just a lie. He promised my body. Long way. If you working from a mighty long way, why are you jealous of what Susie got? Yeah. Huh? Why you got your mouth on Susie? Talking down about what she got. You don't know what she went through to get what she got. Why you talking down on Jack? You know Jack got a blessing. If God bless Jack, God can bless you. Why you talking down on He think he's something got my little new car. He think he's something now. Yeah. Then your greedy self run out and get one. Yeah. Then go to work and tell your boss you ain't paying me enough. from what they did to other folk. I remember that pastor, he said something about me cross the pulpit. And when you got in the parking lot, you were talking about the woman on the second row. She had runs in her stocking. And your mouth still running, talking about her stocking. But at least she came into the house of God. Ain't you glad that God don't give a boo to the goo if you got runs in your stocking? church sitting next to each other and then get back in the car and all the way uh, to the house. Yeah. 
y'all ain't gonna say nothing. Ain't nobody been in the end of 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 the end of
been doing to you. You've been getting on your nerves because you ain't found your boo. You ain't found not to feel good yet. But I'll tell you what, the long Jesus got you. in the community and at the same 
back. Charlie was full of the devil. That man was ready for a change. He had made up his mind that the way he was living wasn't good enough. And he came to Jesus. What? As he he didn't go buy a new Sunday suit to come to church. He came to Jesus as he and when he came he found Jesus was ready for him. Jesus said I'm ready tonight. Jesus said I'm ready tonight. If you want a new, new life I'm ready tonight. You ain't got to wait till you get home and pray. You can press your way around. Yeah. 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 The man came to Jesus. And, but when he came, the devil wouldn't let him talk. But his coming was already his talk. You got what I said? When he came to Jesus, the devil wouldn't let him talk, but his walking was his talk. And I know what Jesus did. He, he cast that devil out. And then the Bible said he was clothed. And then it was. Did y'all hear me? When he let Jesus do what Jesus do, he was clothed and in his right mind. Some of y'all go down to the altar. Then your dad don't go back and do the same thing again. You won't let Jesus do what he wants. Dry devil came up a wind devil. Oh, somebody. I can tell my man. I know what he did for me. In the back of that church, didn't want to be there. Watching that clock like some of y'all been doing that. Now, now, really, now, we got to get out of here now. You say it mine, and you messing with my mind right now. Yeah. Yeah. God been patient with you and put you in hell yet? Yeah. Did y'all hear what I said? If God been patient with you and put you in hell yet? You can be patient with me. Amen. Jesus cast that devil out. And the Bible said that man, he was no longer depressed. He was no longer cutting himself. He was ready to run with Jesus. That's what happened to me when Jesus got that devil out of me. I was ready to run for Jesus. And I don't run till I can. I don't run till I see him. I don't run till the minute is Paul, Paul talked about part of the problem in Romans chapter 12. This is sometimes why our mind can't get right. We don't want to give everything to God. Yeah. Paul said you got to give it all. Yeah. Present your mind. A what? You got to come to the altar and be his sacrifice. It ain't no longer about you. It ain't no longer God gonna give you some new thoughts. He gonna renew your mind, huh? He gonna he gonna replace them ugly thoughts with beautiful thoughts. He gonna replace them hateful thoughts with loving thoughts. But you got to give it all, all in of the world and the spirit. I'm happy.
you to sit and wait on you to make your choice. But he won't force you to do nothing. You have to discern those voices that's messing with you. Because if you ain't being messed with, he already got you. Give God praise in the house. Hallelujah. Everyone standing if you will. Maybe someone here tonight. 